The automate macro is a macro that you can assign to a field that will check that field for a value and automatically update the value in another field based upon that value in the first field. For example, I'm looking at the city and state here. If I assign the automate macro to this uh, city field, it'll check it and it'll say, okay, if I see these cities, let's say Sandy and Salt Lake, I'll automatically go to this field and update it with the uh, correct state, Utah, because both of those cities are in the state of Utah thereby cutting down on the front end user's uh, data entry and speeding them up. So to go ahead and assign this, let's go ahead and right click and go to the design view, select the uh, city text box field, and then double click on the border really fast to bring up its corresponding property sheet, or again, you can right click and go down to properties, that works. And then go to the event tab, come down here and click in on exit, because after somebody exits this field, the macro is gonna be executed, and it's gonna check the city field and say, okay, do I see Salt Lake? or Sandy, if I do, we'll build a macro that will go ahead and enter the uh, state, Utah, in the uh, state field. So to do this, let's go ahead on exit, build that macro by clicking on its build button. And there it is, macro builder, click OK, and brings up the uh, macro window. Okay, let's go ahead and add a comment so we can let people know what we're doing here, and then enter in the action. Let's click on the drop down arrow, select comment, and then we'll type in, there we go to enter a value in the state field based upon the value in the city field. So this is going to be a condition again, so we want to use the if. If this condition is true, then go ahead and do these things. So click on the drop down arrow and select if, and then if, let's go ahead and type in square brackets, the uh, city, close square brackets, in, space, let's go ahead and do open parentheses, open quotes, and it's going to be salt lake, close quotes, and then to add another, comma, open quotes, Sandy, close quotes, and then we can keep adding more cities if we wanted to, but those two are sufficient here. Let's close the parentheses here, and so this will compare the value in the uh, city field with the values in parentheses. So if it sees in the city field Salt Lake and Sandy, then what? Because that's the condition. Then we want to go ahead and add a new action, click on the drop down arrow, and choose, let's type in SET, V, oh, it's not bringing it up. The reason why, let me hit the escape key, is because we're not showing all actions. Click on that to show all actions. Let's type in again, S E T V. There we go, set value. Hit the tab key and it says, okay, what do you want to set the value to when the city has uh, one of these two uh, names in it? And we're going to go ahead and type in open square brackets, state, close square brackets. In other words, this is the name of the field we want to display the value in, and the expression is going to be the value that we want displayed in that state field. And it's going to be open quotes, UT, close quotes. So let's go ahead and add a comment down below explaining what's going on up here. Click on the drop down arrow, choose comment. Let's type in, there we go. If city is Salt Lake or Sandy, then set the state to UT or Utah. In which case, when it does, do we need to have the cursor when we hit the tab key automatically go to the state field when something's already been updated automatically for us? No. So how about if we go ahead and we add a new action that, if this statement is true, to have the control, the cursor, go right to the zip code or postal code. So let's go ahead and add a go to control. So I'll click on the drop down arrow, type in go, there it is, go to control, hit the tab key to add it. Um, the name of the field that we want to go to, let's do open square brackets, and the name of the field is postal, close square brackets. Now again, the field names aren't case sensitive, so it doesn't matter if I type in lower or uppercase, just make sure that you have it spelled correctly, and if there's a space between postal and code, that, well, you got the space. Okay, let's add a comment to explain our action above. Click on the drop-down arrow. There's comment. Let's go ahead and type this in. I mean, simple enough, right? Go to the postal code field. Okay, let's take it for a test drive. When we're finished, let's be sure to save our macro here. Click on the Save button. Let's close out of it. And let me close out of the property sheet. Let's right click, go to the form view, click on new record, or actually we can go back to another record here and just say, okay, if the city has changed to Sandy, hit the tab key up, oh, see, there we go. Changed it right to Utah for us and dumped us right in the zip code field. I'll hit escape to get out of that so we don't make any changes. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.